you know, get them to go in the hive. Mm -hmm. Okay, get some of that smoke in there. Okay. And you want to just wait a minute, okay? Because okay. what's going to happen is the bees are going to, uh, they're going to smell that smoke and they're going to start eating honey. Okay, and then they're, you know, in theory is they're busy eating honey. Hi, welcome to my channel here at People Power Farm and you know, Russian bees out here in Northern California. I'm out here in Fairfield. I'm getting my uh, van seat worked on. Uh, it, it broke, the rails broke. So uh, it was hard to, you know, probably try to find a seat like that for a, a 2000 Dodge Ram cargo van. So I decided to come out here in Fairfield, California and get it fixed. I'm out here uh, the location here. Let me show you here. Uh, <clears throat> well, this is all part of the bee business, or or are you a beekeeper or a bee business person, or you just a person that's just doing it uh, for fun? There's things that you have to know and and do, and and that's taking care of your vehicles and things that you might need to work uh, on your craft, either hobby, business, or commercial. So I'm out here, like I said, in Fairfield, California. This is a yard out here and all these trucks are out here. Uh, and I guess there's a guy's park or they rest. And uh, I'm over here at uh, a welding place. I'm trying to get the name right now for you. It is uh, Smith and Sons in Fairfield. The guy's really good. He's doing some good work for me right out here. And uh, I, I wanted to uh, just show you the place and look how big it is here. And it's a great guy. I found him on Yelp. And I think you guys should come down here if you need some work done. He'll get it done really quick. Uh, and I think that's really good. Uh, so that's why I'm out here. It's a, it's a little drive about an hour and 20 minutes away from where I'm from. And uh, here go the gates over here. The gates right over here. So, And that's what we came through here. Uh, and... You know, that's pretty much it. That's wanted to get back with you. Well, listen, we're going to be talking about an incubator for queens, for queen cells. Uh, and I had two or three of them when I put them in there. I got two nooks. I'm going to show you on the next, uh, the next YouTube. Don't forget, subscribe, comments, bring your friends over. It's not over yet. I'm just working slowly. Got some things to work out for this business and things in the past so I can move forward. So it's slowing things down here. But this is where I'm at here. Take a look. Out here, Fairfield, California. Look at this. Big place. Uh, if you look towards that way, that is the Clorox uh, way over there. That is the Clorox factory where they make Clorox. Just pitch. Okay, so this is it. Uh, I couldn't show you, but he fixed all of this. Look at the work this guy did. Look at this work. Phenomenal work. I mean, look at this. He put it back for me. Unbelievable. That's what you call quality work. I mean, you can't get no better than that. Did we got this right? Yeah, he got it right. So I'm just working on stuff. Oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's it. I got this done here, uh, pretty much. And that is it. I'm going to take this back. And that's what I've been doing. That's what my day was like. And we are done here. So that's all, guys. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel here at People Power Farm or Russian River Bees. Listen, I'm out here uh, killing some time over here looking at some bees, but look at this. I'm feeding back the bees here uh, because I believe in giving back to them. They need to have their honey to build their homes. It's like we do, right? We need food, nutrition, and we need all the vitamins we can get, all the vitamins. So what we do is we make sure that we have nutrients for them. We can get back. So they're over here eating up the honey. Uh, they're coming from my other hive that you notice out there. And uh, they are uh, pretty much coming here.
look what we got here. Incubator. Welcome to my channel here at YouTube, Russian River Bees in Northern California. This video is about incubator I just got. When I decided to get this incubator, I had three queens that uh, my friend gave me and only one made it. But they were in here, in this incubator here that I just got, made in the USA here. Professional farm grade. I'll put this down over here for now. We'll keep it out of the sun here. We don't want that to melt. And I had them in here. And I had the cloth in here, and that's what I used. And then we had these in here, which kept the queens inside. And the incubator was here. I mean, the incubator was running. Well, I got this new incubator, still still air incubator, and I, I've got it, and I, I used it. It was very good. Let's go ahead and see if we can plug this in you know I didn't plug it in actually I gotta get some power here so let's go ahead and move this out of here put it over here let's go ahead and move this out of the way so we can plug this in here maybe we will use this here for a base And get it running right okay there we go well meanwhile I got bees right here bees all over this place right here Okay, so here we go. I got it plugged in here. I've set it right here. You have the set button right here and you can change the temperature uh, up and down. The humidity is right there. I hope you can see that. So what you gotta do is press the setup button here, hold it down and get it to where you need it to be. So I'll leave it at 92 for Queens. Uh, 92, 92, I think that's about right. It's real simple, just the set button. After you press the set button once, you hold it. Then when you're done, you press it. And it should automatically go in here. Let's look. There it is inside now, it's 95.3. It just started. So the temp is okay right now. I mean, this thing would stop running right now if we had the queens in here. So it does keep the humidity good. What you want to do is get a small sponge, something that you can use to keep it damp. You want to keep it damp. So I think I have something here. Let me see here. And you can take something like, something like this here. Well, let me show you. See, it's going down to 93 now, if you notice. Look at the humidity, it's 58 right now. We're gonna change that right now. We're gonna go ahead and put this in here. That's a little damp, a little dirty, but I'm gonna get that out of here. And we're gonna see the difference in humidity. at 51 right now so getting back to this great tool that I use right here I think it's something good to use good to get it's used for eggs 
Uh, it's used for laying for hens when they lay their eggs to put them in here. But what's great about this product, it has a 6300 egg turner that comes with it if you decided to get this for eggs. Uh, and they'll rotate the egg six times a day. Uh, it also has forced air fan fit. So inside the unit, it has a, uh, a fan. And what it does, it maintains the temperature, which now it's 89 degrees and on. It's kind of warm, right? Well, let's see. Let's see what happens to it. Okay, so let's get back to it. So uh, it has forced air fan fit. So what happens? It circulates the air. Uh, and maintains uh, more uniform temperature and that's what's good about this unit right here that it has the fan and blows and it keeps humidity just about right in temperature uh, not humidity but temperature you can control humidity with something like damp a damp cloth a damp sponge and that would help right now we're trying to get this thing gauged into the correct settings uh, and these are the stuff that it comes with you can take a look here Or it's really easy touch touch button whatever you want to call it or button touch i don't know i'm still learning how to do this but it's not bad to use and you can put a lot of queens you can put about 50 queens in that cage look how big that is 50 queens you can put in there so you just imagine the production that you can have with that i wanted to share that with you so right now we're waiting for the temperature see it's going 88 See how it works here. 87. So it's going to go down. It'll get to the temperature it needs to do, which is 93. So right now it's cool because we put a, a sponge inside here. And it's inside, as you notice. So I got this product, the Steel Air Incubator. Uh, it holds temperature within one degree of what your degrees that you need. I think which is really good. And I'm thinking about putting products on here on YouTube to show you guys and get you familiar with the things I'm doing and learning. And I think this is a good tool. It's all digital, as you notice, and I think that's really good to have. Uh, it's very easy to learn. I didn't take me that long to learn it. It's a touch tone, one button set, one button reset, and it is electrical. And you can plug it into your car or you can plug it into your van or truck. It's very usable. I have an adapter with it. I don't have it with me right now. I should have brought it. Maybe I'll bring that right here. Uh, hold on, let me go get that, be right back. Now look at this here, this is a Victor. I got this here, so I'll be able to use this in a vehicle when I'm traveling in case I have to grab some queens from a partner or a friend or a fellow beekeeper. So I have this inverter right here. What a great inverter. It's a 500 watt inverter by Victor. It's a freedom of power. Well, it's worked for me so far. I've got another unit I'm going to plug this into so I don't use the main connection to my vehicle. But it'll be used later. And I got this and I wanted to show it to you. Show it to you. So this will be connected to this here. It's exactly connected to this. It has the plug-ins as you notice. Uh, it has USB ports here. Uh, it also has, it comes with, if you look here, it also comes with the plug-ins for the, for, to, to I guess to, uh, give your give your vehicle a, a boost look at that uh hopefully give power to something right so that's what that's for i want to show you that here so i got that unit and i got it together with this kit you get these two right here and i'm not getting anything to show you this here i just like giving free information and maybe one day i'll be able to do that so we have the still air incubator we have the victor 500 watt power inverter and then we have the full kit and that's what we're doing here today showing you the full kit 
but now let's go back and look. 94.59, it was 51%. So humidity went up about eight degrees already with that in there. And it's gonna get down to 93.2 or four, what we set it for, for the queen settings. I wanted to give you that and show you how it works. It works really quick and fast. And that is it, I just wanted to share that with you. And I'm gonna unplug that. And that is it, and we can open it up and see. Well, you can't feel the humidity. It's already, it's already here that quick. Uh, it works perfectly. You want to use a clean, and you want to clean this out because they get dirty, and it's very good to clean these. So if you want to do that. These are clean with soap, so that'll be okay in there. But you want to go ahead and clean that stuff. And, uh, So that's all folks i wanted to share that with you today of what i'm doing out here in the yard and things i've added to the yard to build this small yard to a hopefully maybe a productive yard uh and for you hobbyists it's a great thing to do uh for you commercial guys you know the story is just routine but for new people if you're new subscribe bring your friends over i'll show you some more stuff little by little i haven't been here in a while we got some different videos that I'm going to be showing you. So enjoy the moment and see you next time here on YouTube, here at Russian River Bees. You guys, take care. Thank you again for watching, and uh, you make it a great day. Bye bye. Okay. Like what you do, yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. You so see, you got out of out of uh, sixty. Sixty out of uh, about forty out of six. No, six. No, out of ninety, I got about sixty. Okay. Yeah. That was great. That was so good. That was really good experience. I think so. And then uh, we can go there. Get left. Yeah.